Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I'd like to talk with you about several new productivity enhancements inside of Civil 3D 2018.1. Here in Civil 3D 2018.1, I'm going to take you through several different productivity enhancements that have been added to 2018.1. And the first one I'm going to talk about is the Label Override Glyph Toggle. This particular enhancement came from comments made on the idea station, so the product team has been listening and they've wanted to, to help everybody out with this new enhancement. I'm going to kind of differentiate between the label override glyphs and the warning symbols that you get here, just to kind of talk about that first. So if we look here, uh, when you see the, the circles or the, the circles with the eyes, that means that this label has been modified. There's, a, there's override text. Somebody has selected this label and done a manual edit. So they've edited te uh, label text here. All right, so there's an override. There is another warning sign that comes up also, and that is a warning for this geometry. So there's a minimum vi radius violated here, and that's what that warning symbol is showing. Well, if you zoom way back and you do a regen, you can see that these symbols get really big. So you have to continually regen as you zoom to get them to shrink. So the way that we shut them off in the past was to go into our AutoCAD options and select here in AEC Editor just to take the drafting tab off or the drafting button off here under Solution Tips, and they would all go away. Well, folks wanted to still see the warnings on their geometry to see if they'd violated any uh, design criteria. So if you go back and we turn those back on, we have a new feature now, and we can turn off just the text override glyphs, all right? This actually frees up your drawing space pretty well. So in order to do that, it's very simple. We go up to the Annotate tab here in our ribbon, and there's an Override Glyph button. All right, you can either show or hide these glyphs. So I'm just going to hit Hide Glyphs, and they go away. What does stay here, though, is this warning symbol, which is what folks were wanting. So it's a small feature that's been added to 2018.1, but it is what folks have been asking for, and it does help with productivity because you can get rid of those. You can bring them back just as fast as you took them away. We can we could hit show, and it would show everything. So we can we can toggle that on and off very quickly. Another new feature inside of Civil 3D 2018.1 is the ability to open up the Infrastructure Parts Editor uh, right here inside of the UI in Civil 3D. So the way we would have done that in the past is we would have gone here inside of Windows and scrolled down to Autodesk, our Autodesk folder, and scrolled way on down here and selected Infrastructure Parts Editor, all right? This is the authoring tools that we can use to generate parts that work inside of InfraWorks and inside of Civil 3D, all right? These parts are driven, or, or I say driven, they're built inside of Inventor or Inventor LT, and then those can be brought right into a catalog inside of the Infrastructure Parts Editor. So the only way to open the Infrastructure Parts Editor was to go down and open it where I just did in the Start menu. All right, so I'm going to close that. We can open that directly here inside of Civil 3D. We can go to the Home tab. We can go over to Create Design and select Infrastructure Parts Editor, and it opens that up right here inside of Civil 3D. So this, again, may seem like a small addition to 2018.1, but it is definitely a productivity enhancement because we can actually access it right there in the Create Design menu. So the, the business benefit for using the Infrastructure Parts Editor is that it's an easier way to create custom parts, and they do work within Civil 3D and InfraWorks. Now, the next productivity enhancement that I'd like to talk about today is the IFC alignment support uh, for our I, for for exporting alignments. So, as you know, in, the, in previous versions, we were able to actually export out an IFC file, which is an industry standard type file. There is a new schema now that supports alignments here in Civil 3D. What a person would get when you export an alignment is the geometry and the labels and it's all in the correct position in the world. So it, it basically, this alignment right here is what I'm going to export, and it will come in in the correct spot. Um, it will look the way that it looks here. It'll, it'll 
be the geometry and the the labels for that geometry. So let's go ahead and show you that real quick. So I'm going to go up to my application button in the upper left hand corner, the big A in the corner, and I'm going to drop down to export. Now, if you don't see export an IFC file, hit this down arrow right here on your menu and it'll, sh it'll show up. Um, what it usually shows up as if you don't have it, if it doesn't show up here in your in your menu, uh, it's because it's showing additional information. It's here at the top, and you can hit this down arrow, and it'll show up. I'm going to select IFC export. I'm going to give it a project number. We're just going to call it test one. All right, just for today's demo. The project name, it's going to default to the name of the drawing that we're using. All right, so I actually added test to it. Uh, for a project name. It's going to be saved here in our directory for this demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and browse out and put it in my productivity enhancements folder. All right, and the drawing file it's using is my label override demo. So there's a few things and options that I want to take you through. So here under your select ISC schema to export to, we have three different schemas that we can export to now. IFC 2x3, IFC 4, and IFC 4X1. In order to get your alignments to export using IFC export, you need to use this IFC 4X1. If you use the other two, it will not export. So make sure that it's set to 4X1. All right, I'll go back to options and I'll show you under objects, we can actually select, we have an alignment selection here. So just be sure that if you want the alignment selected, you can see here we have that selection. Just Go ahead and put a check mark in there and hit OK. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and select export. So I'll hit export and it exports that out. Now, we're going to do a quick round trip here and I'm going to bring it back into Civil 3D. I'm just going to create a new drawing. I'm going to type in in the command line IFC import. Now I'm going to go out and select my IFC file that I just exported out of that alignment. So I'll go here to my productivity enhancements, select my label override demo IFC file, and I'll go ahead and select, I can create another project if I'd like. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this default and hit create. And it's going to start processing. Once finished, it'll ask you if you want to open the created drawing. I'm just going to tell it yes. And if you'll notice, the drawing that it opens is actually a file that has the parent file that was created xrefed in. So this is actually an xref, all right? So I can look here and I can see that this is an xref, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that parent file, all right? And that is that was in our uh, productivity enhancements. And it generated one, a, a file with the same name as what I had for my original drawing. And this label override demo site, this will be the drawing that has my alignment in it with all of the geometry that's not XREF. This is the parent, the parent file for that. So if I select that alignment, you can see that it is the alignment that we exported. It's just it's calling it an IFC alignment one. All right, and I can go into the alignment properties and I can see station control, um, you, you get your point of intersection, um, you've got all of the properties of that particular alignment that you can start to, to set and change. Now we can also grab that alignment and we can edit the alignment geometry. All right, so I can open up and look in a tabular view or in a panorama. I can look at the different geometry pieces. I can unlock them and I can start to make changes if I want to to that alignment uh, that was imported in from IFC. So that's how we export an IFC file that now has our alignment geometry information in. The next productivity enhancement I'd like to show you, uh, it's called Reconnect Network. All right. Now what this fixes, all right, and I'm going to go ahead and select my Reconnect Pipe Network demo file. What this fixes is a problem that happened with 2018 from going opening 2017 drawings in 2018 and then 2018 basically broke all of the connectivity to the pipe network so all of the structures were disconnected so what I mean by that is if I select one of these 
uh, well, I'm going to select this, this structure right here. And there should be three pipes that it shows in the structure properties. So if I look at the structure properties, I can look at connected pipes and nothing is connected. All right. Well, you can imagine that if you had several different pipe networks like you see even here and you open that 2017 drawing in 2018 and all of this is broken can be very upsetting. So we now can type in at the command line, reconnect network. And I, I don't have to even type the whole thing out. I can just select it and hit enter. And it says 44 pipes in the network were reconnected. Now, if you had multiple networks, it would connect them all at the same time. You only have to run the command once. Now, if I select that same structure, I can look at the structure properties and I can see that all of the pipes are connected. All right. So very quickly, we're able to fix that problem from 2018. And the problem being that it disconnects all of your pipes from your structures once it's open. So that's a very important update in Civil 3D 2018.1. I hope that the information in this video has helped you to understand some of the new productivity enhancements and features inside of Civil 3D 2018.1. I want to thank you for watching and have a great day.